Hello, another day back on working on this. Now I've got to start making that side. Um, so that's what I'll be doing today I'm on the inside because it's raining. But you've got to do what you've got to do to get work done. So that's what I'll be doing today, and I'll show you when I start doing it. But yeah, I've got to make all that in there. And then I've got to go about reinforcing it. So, back soon. Hey, this is what I've done so far. It's got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's got a couple on the top at the minute. Um, but that's it so far. I've been grinding it all clean because I want to put a reinforcement plate over this section because there's a little hole here. It just keeps blowing through so I'm going to make the plate all the way across and slightly up just to give it that extra support over to here so that's it so far I'm going to finish cleaning all this up till all the rust has gone off it and then I'll start making the new plate but that's it so far and this is welded in now the car's no longer in half it's even welded up the top end up there so, my car is officially not in half, and my brother-in-law stood on that whilst holding onto the roof and shook it, and was stamping on it, and it is solid. It was moving the back and the front of the car, so Courtney is officially back together. She's no longer in half. The front is now connected, connected to the back, and I keep saying chassis. It's chassis. As somebody said to me, asked me to stop saying it the American way. It's just that chassis is easier to say than chassis. <laughs> like chassis, chassis leg, ch chassis rail. Chassis leg, chassis rail. I don't know. I am English. Um, but yeah, I think it is, it's chassis. So I've try and remember keeps pronouncing it like that rather than the short version. Don't upset no one. <laughs> um so yeah, I'll be back with you shortly. That's what I've done so far. Hopefully when I show you again this will be all finished. And time for me to move on to something else. Back shortly. Hi everyone. This is done now. All grinded, cleaned. These are all the spot welds. I've even put the metal into the little pattern things here so it goes over the thing and spot welded it on the top. Seam welded it there, all across there. I could actually stand on this. I could actually stand on it. And it's not going nowhere. Oh. So that's that done. It's welded up the top as well. So up there's finished. This is part two of the chassis leg and chassis rail going in. The final. So you won't see any more of this now. It's done. We just gotta uh prime it uh, and then that's done first chassis rail in um, what I need to do now is wait until I can buy the inner seals I need to get them it's pretty bad here isn't it My car is no longer in half, and I'm really happy. I even drilled the hole there that belongs in the that goes in the bottom bit. So you got the holes. It looks a little bit rough because I've grinded it. 
Uh, and I don't, I, to be honest, I don't really care what it looks like as long as it's structurally sound. You're never going to see inside there. But look how strong all that is. Absolutely solid. My bro as I said earlier, my brother-in-law stood on this yesterday and rocked up and down on it whilst holding onto the roof and the whole car was shaking. Normally when I press on that end, the back end don't normally follow it. Now it does. So, another job ticked off the list. I just got to put a bit of primer on it. Um, that's, that's it, I'll uh, come back and show you when I put the primer on it. I just got to finish brushing it off and dusting it off. Um, yeah, okay, back short though. Okay, that's primed. That will be uh, sanded off again because I want to put rush treatments all in there. I've still got to wait to get it, but it'll hold the rust off for the time being. Now, a question for my subscribers Do you think I should put some seam sealer in there, or would that be unnecessary considering it'd be waxed, wa wax oiled? Anyway. Don't think it's necessary, but comment below if you think I should. Um, I don't think it's necessary to be honest. This is the wood that I put underneath it when I was welding. That's how I know that the welds penetrated through the other side. <laughs> Burnt me wood. So I know it went straight through my metal and straight through the chassis rail as well as the metal that I put in there right down to the bottom it's actually got little uh, what should I call them pimply things hanging off the bottom that I've got to grind down the wild went through there perfect um, yeah also my I asked you in one of the videos to comment below on what you reckon my plans was for the floor and you all did get it right it was to make my own but upon doing this and thinking about it I think I should just order the floor um, It's just, it would be a lot simpler for me to just weld the whole floor pan in, wouldn't it? The passenger one, I can repair that. But I think I should at least get the driver's side, shouldn't I? Let me know what you think. Shall I make my own or shall I just save up a bit more money and just get the floor pan and wait for it? And while I'm waiting for that, do some more work up the front. All your um, advice would be appreciated right about now. It's just that for me to make my own, I could do the lip, that's not a problem. But it's all of this. It's all, uh, is it really worth messing around trying to make one? When you can actually just go on, is it Express, Express Steel? And just order one. It'll probably take about 10 days or more to get here. And just fit the whole floor. Obviously I've got to order the sills, the sill first. Actually it'd be nice to have both of them together, wouldn't it? So put the sill in and line the floor up. Um, yeah, give me some advice please. <laughs> so that's ticked off the list. Um, I'll probably make the, the back bit. I'll probably make that. Or is it worth it? Because I'm pretty sure the new one would come up to here, wouldn't it? Actually, no, it doesn't. It comes up to this. It comes up to that. So, yeah, it would probably come across here, wouldn't it? Yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, I really do need your advice on this. I feel like I'm flip flopping back and forth. Shall I build it? Shall I not? Shall I build it? Shall I not? And just, or just buy it, weld it in, job done. And in the meantime, like I said, I can get on with some more work up the front while I'm waiting. I am tempted though to weld something from there to there just to give this a bit of support for the meantime. I don't like that. Yeah. Uh, and the good thing is, I think there's some sills, inner sills you can get that's already got the seatbelt mounting bolts. I think it goes here, doesn't it? Does it go about here? Um, yeah, yeah, it's about here, isn't it? Yeah, I really want to get that in that cell because that's the worst one. The one over here, yeah, it's got some holes in it there, but other than that, that's the best one in the car, and it's still strong. None of that, I mean, he's still got the seat belt. Attachment down there. It's all rock hard. That's why I was debating whether I could just fix that cell. Because there's only like these little bits there. It's still got its lip up the top there. It's just the floor lip that's gone. So, it's possible I could actually fix that cell. Because it's strong up there as well. I'll try a uh, Put my Y wheel on it, see how nice it comes up, and then I'll go from there. If not, I'll just buy the cell. But I'll do that when I get to that side. This is my main concern because, as you know, it's the worst part of the car the driver's side. Yeah. Right. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe. As I'm really close to 1,000, and if I don't get the 1,000, I think it um, resets. So I have to do all the watch time and the subscribers again. Or it's get up to 1,000 and do all the watch time again. So I would really appreciate it if you could uh, subscribe. Anyone who's not. I think there's 60% of people who's not subscribed but watches me. And it's free, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. All it does is just helps my channel. Because eventually, once my cortina is done, I've got to find a, a place to put my cars, obviously. I want to get um, a Ford Capri as well to do up. Because I, I really do love the shape of the Ford Capris. Uh, and there is a couple of other cars I want as well, but they all have to be as bad as this. Because obviously, you know, after doing this, I'm pretty sure I could uh, sort out other rusted, non-wanted cars. <laughs> it's actually fun to do, to be honest. It gives me something to do. Something to achieve. Right, I'll let you go. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.